hey everybody it's charmel welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i'm here with another lock video and we are going to be touching up these roots child okay so in my two month update i told you guys i was thinking about recoloring my hair touching up my roots i also put it on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram you should be doing that snatch by charmel um, so yeah, I'm gonna touch up my hair. The last time I colored my hair was in July and Yeah, I'm so over these roots. My hair just looks dusty and ashy So we're gonna get all of that together and then I'm also going to be doing a retwist All right, so I'm gonna be using some coconut oil to base my hairline and my scalp I was doing some scratching that week prior so I did not want my scalp to be burning, so I am going to be placing this throughout my entire head on my scalp. And I also added some to like the ends of my hair just because I didn't want to dry my hair out too much. And disclaimer, I'm not a professional. This is the first time I've ever colored locks. I and when I colored my hair originally, it was definitely done on impulse. Like it wasn't some thought out process. I just went to the beauty supply and bought the color and did it. So again, I'm not a professional, but yeah, I'm just doing what I do. I like to experiment and play with my hair. So yeah, like I said, I'm just going in with that coconut oil and basting my scalp. So I'm splitting my hair into six sections. I did four in the front and two in the back. And this is just going to make it a little easier and more organized as I'm coloring my hair so that it's just like not locks falling all over the place. So I'm going to be using a box dye since that's what I used last time. I'm using the Cream of Nature in the color Lightest Blonde. The first time I colored my hair during the summer, I used a Honey Blonde, but this time I went with the Lightest Blonde and I'm just following the instructions on the box. So I'm just going to pour that product in my hand and I'm going to use my hands to apply it. I watched several videos. I also had like an actual applicator brush but I felt like using my hands was probably going to be the easiest process. So I'm just taking that product and applying it to my roots. And I'm making sure that I actually work that product in because since my hair, um, you know, it's twisted, it's locked, it's, if I don't massage it in, the color will just sit on the top of the hair. So if you are doing this, make sure you are massaging and working that color through the entire section and not just on top. And I'm also starting on the sections in the front because I would prefer my front to be lighter than my back. So wherever you start, obviously that's where the color is going to sit the longest. So I started at the front. So if my front is lighter than my back, then I'm okay with that. This is how I did it the first time too when I had loose hair. I started coloring my hair in the front and my front ended up being lighter than the back of my head but I personally like that kind of two-toned belayage type of look. And I purposely did not put any of the products on my baby hairs because the first time I colored my hair, I did like all of my hairline, all of my edges. And I didn't like the way it looked when my baby hairs were the same color as my skin. It just made me look kind of bald. So I'm not doing my baby hairs. Like I'm getting a little bit of product on it, but my baby hairs are still pretty dark so that you can see them when I lay my edges. Thank you. 
So I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't being as thorough in the back of my head. I was just kind of applying the product kind of willy nilly. I'm still kind of working it in, but it's just not as thorough as I did in the front part. So I used one box for my entire head and any leftover product that I had, I kind of worked it on some of the tips of my hair just to add some highlights and a little dimension to my color. Then I also went over some spots in the front that I kind of missed just to make sure, you know, all of my roots are covered. And you can see that my roots are starting to lift. They're getting lighter. So it took me about 20 minutes to apply all the color and then I left it on for an additional 15 minutes. I honestly wish I would have left it on longer, but I was nervous and scared that I was going to have hot roots. You know, when your roots are lighter than the rest of your hair. So I was getting nervous and decided to rinse it out. Um, so here is how it looks. I definitely have areas that are still dark. Like once I part my head on that side is good, but like in the center, you can definitely see where my roots are still dark. So I wish I would have left it on longer, but I think the color is fine. Um, it's definitely lighter along the perimeter of my head, but I don't mind having like different variations of brown in my head. I like the dimension to it. So it wasn't perfect, but it was okay for the time being. Now, my hair definitely felt pretty dry once I finished rinsing that color out. So I'm going in with some rose water and spraying my hair to add some moisture to it. Then I also went in and heavily saturated my hair with some oil. So this is the growth serum from Kakibi Hairline. Next, I'm gonna go into this deep conditioner from that same product line and I'm going to deep condition my hair. This is actually the first time I've used any type of conditioning product on my starter locks since installing them. I know conditioner is not usually recommended for starter locks, um, but the way that my hair fell, I just could not leave it like that. Like I had to apply a deep conditioner. So um, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I probably won't use it every time, but if my hair needs it, I will definitely use a conditioner. And then I just put my hair under a plastic cap for like 30, 40 minutes, and then I rinsed it out. My hair felt so much better after that deep condition. So here we are, boom. And then I'm gonna go in one more time with my rose water as well as some black Jamaican castor oil along my hairline. Now moving on to the retwist, I'm just going to be using my aloe vera gel. I do listen to you guys' suggestion and a lot of you were telling me in my first retwist video that less is more. So this is the only product that I use to retwist my hair. If you watched my first retwist video, I pretty much followed the same process. So if you want a more in-depth step-by-step of what I'm doing, all of my trials and errors, then definitely go watch that video. I will link it down below for you guys to go check out. I can definitely say that um, I'm getting more used to my hair. This retwist was a lot easier than the first one. I feel like the first one, it took me about three hours at least <laughs> to retwist my hair. This time it took me maybe an hour to an hour and a half. So I was moving pretty quickly. I had my rhythm down and yeah, like I said, the entire process was just, it's just getting a lot easier.
Now, I will say that this time around, I had a lot more webbing, I believe it's what it's called when like your locks get tangled and stuck together in the roots. I had a lot of that this time around. Um, I knew it was, it's part of the process, but it definitely threw me off um, when I first seen a couple of my locks stuck together, but it was pretty easy to detangle them and not detangle them, but it was easy to separate my locks. Also this time around, I didn't use my comb too much. Um, I was really just separating and kind of, not freestyle parting, but just kind of parting with my hands. I wasn't tripping on my parts being super precise um, like I did the first time around. I will say that you can definitely see more of the imperfections in the color after I retwisted my hair. Again, I'm not bothered by the color, but you can definitely see the areas that didn't get processed very well. But I still think that the color looks nice. I, like I said, I like that it's multi-dimensional. So I was in the house for the most part the entire day so I pretty much air dried most of the day I still don't have a hooded dryer but once I got tired of my clips I put this little thing on my head I purchased this on Shein.com don't ask how I stumbled upon this but it's basically like this little blow dryer hat bonnet thing and you hook your blow dryer up to the end and you blow dry your hair and it's like sitting under a hooded blow dryer I guess so I did this for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes until I got tired of it and then I took my clips out. But like I said, before I did this, I did air dry for about 8 hours. Um, so yeah, I just did this to ensure that my roots were completely dry. And that is it y'all. Here is how my hair looks in natural lighting. I was trying to get a good clip but the sun was playing me. But um, yeah, again, the color isn't perfect and it kind of came out a little more gingery than brown. But overall, I do love that the way that this color came out. It's basically like my hairline is lighter and then like the back of my head is darker. But again, I like it. And so here's how it looks like in the house and like indoor lighting. I do have my ring light right here. But yeah, this is actually a few days later after my retwist, so some of my freeziness is coming back. But that is it, you guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snatched by Charmel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, you guys.